think of, of this fight with Kalev Plan? He wants that fight too? Yeah. It's a big fight for them? Yeah. Um, yeah. Everybody wants to see that fight, right? Yeah. Two best, but... I want 68, yeah. 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 Everybody wants to see that fight. Hopefully it's going to happen, but... Yeah. What do you think happens? You fought Benavides? Yeah, I think Benavides 24 rounds, you know, to fight. And, uh, uh, I think Benavides thing was tough. Yeah, Benavides is tough. Yeah. yeah. Now, you, you know, you did bring up the name Dave, and I do have to ask because you have sparred David Benavides mm -hmm. and you have sparred Caleb Plant. Yes. You know, one of the many few that... How, how do you think that fight breaks down because you've been in the ring with both of them? Man, it's a great matchup. Two fantastic fighters. Um, I'm leaning more towards Caleb because um, I think David's kind of underestimating him because David keeps saying, oh, he only got 11, 12 knockouts out of 20-something fights. But if you look, David... But, you can't, you, you, that don't determine if a guy can punch or not, you know what I'm saying? Most guys fights, like it's like when a guy loses early in his career, and then you, he, he ends up being world champion. They beat guys, and they think, oh, well, he lost to this guy. Yeah, but that was a decade ago. He's a whole different fighter now. I think Caleb is a whole different fighter now. I think being in there with Canelo, being in there with, you know, the tougher competition, I think he's a different fighter now. I think, um, I think David needs to um, work on his defense not get hit so much in this fight because in his previous fights David's been hit a lot because he's fighting blown up 54 and 60 pounders so he can get away with it but you know Caleb got a little pop like you know I don't care how many knockouts he got especially he, from that last knockout you know what I'm saying he got a little pop so I think David needs to be careful and take Caleb a lot more serious and and look at it as he a big puncher you know what I'm saying because I think if David don't I think we might see David on the canvas you know what I'm saying Caleb is slick he's slick he, he, he's a lot harder to hit than it looks, you know what I mean? David is more gruesome, you know, gorilla type, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm trying to break you, I'm trying to break you. So I think it's a, it's a good fight. It's like a, if I can compare it to a fight, like Penel Whitaker Chavez. Okay. Like, I can compare it like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's the slick boxer, it's a, it's a slick boxer with some decent pop against the gruesome Mexican monster, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but I'm leaning more towards Caleb. You know, um, I think Caleb is slick. I think, um, and sometimes David gets one-dimensional. He, he does the same thing over and over again. He, you know what I mean? Like I said, because the level of competition he fights, he can get away with it. I think if they don't make no adjustments and he's been looking the same way that he's been looking in his fights, I think Caleb's gonna win. But if they, if they correct the adjustments, I can see it, uh, 50-50 for me. You know, and I'll just play devil's advocate yeah. since you're picking Plant, you know. Um, you know, David's going to come with that relentless hard pressure. I mean, even though that Plant's very slick, yeah. you know, and, and, you know, you've been in a ring with Uzi yeah. Teki, and, yeah. and, and, he, and, you know, he brought that type of pressure. You know, it seemed like Plant did really well in the beginning and kind of slowly yeah. faded yeah. off, yeah. you know. Um, do you think that, like, you know, in this fight, conditioning is going to be really important? Because David's definitely going to continue, maybe even maybe maybe worse. I don't know. What, what do you think? Because you fought, you fought Ustateki. Yeah. And you spar David. So I guess you really can actually break this down at it. Yeah. Okay. That's my thing. That's right. Like, like, like David, like I said, once I bring up again, the level of opposition he's fighting. That's why he's able to do that against those smaller guys because they're they, they not able to hurt him. He has nothing to worry about. So he can just keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. You got to ask yourself, what happens when he gets hit by somebody who can, who can punch? By somebody who got decent pop and by somebody who can stand their ground a little bit. You got to see, will he still keep coming forward like that? That's what we waiting to see. So like 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 that's the the, 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 the the catcher for me. Like when he feel Caleb, when Caleb catch him clean, is he gonna be like, oh I can still walk, oh I can still walk. Cause I spar with Caleb. Caleb got some pop. He's not a pillow puncher like everybody trying to make it seem like he ain't got no power. Nah, he got he he got some decent pop. What would you rate like let's say like you know what would you rate out of ten like David's power and Caleb's power when you sparred? Obviously it's different now. Yeah. Um, when, when I sparred, Caleb punched harder. Oh, Caleb punched harder than David. Yeah. When we, really? Yeah, and I sparred with David. He's like two thirty at the time. Wow. Like two thirty at the time. He's he's fast, but like I wasn't like I'm like that's decent, but it was nothing that I was like uh you you I mean if you be in good shape you can get him. But with Caleb, I'm like, yo, keep your hands up. Like, you can pop a little bit. Like, kind of 
shocked me. Like, oh, we keep so, my hands up. So why does it seem like when come when David gets these like monstrous like like KOs and Plant kind of slick moves, gets his way? Obviously, the Anthony, uh, I mean, the Darrell knockout was was <laughs> like possibly KO of the year. He won awards from stuff. But why is it that like consistently one person's able to have that KO kind of s, the other one kind of is like more slick and maybe more decision like? Well, you got Styles make fights. And you got to realize too, David is a cruiserweight that fights at 68. Hmm. So if you look at the shots he hitting guys with, right? If you look at Caleb fight with Darrell, he flatlined Darrell. Like, if you saw when David fought him, David stopped him, and David was hitting him with the kitchen sink. You would think a guy being that big, it would be reversed. You would think, Caleb, I mean, David would sleep Darrell like that, and Caleb would just box him and, and, get, and get the stoppage. But it was the other way around. Caleb slept him, and David just stopped him. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you look at the guy, Kyron, Kyron Davis, a lot of these guys, David, fighting, he be hitting these guys with clean shots. And that was kind of like a back and forth fight for a That's little bit. right. Mm -hmm. And he be hitting these guys with clean shots and don't even be wiping them out. He just stopped guys with his, with his size. He overwhelmed them with his size, and it's, and it's easy to do that when you're fighting a guy that's two weight, three weight classes smaller than you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think, I, I, I think uh, Caleb's learning to sit down more. You've seen that. He's learning like not to move so much, use upper body movement. And when he when he punched, sitting down. And I think um, I think if he catch David, I think he's gonna surprise David. I think David's gonna be like, whoa, we punch a lot harder. Then, and and we'll we, be waiting to see is David being hurt. Cause we've seen David down before. Yeah. He got dropped by Ronald, Ronald Graville, yeah. who's a 60 pounder, who's, you know, decent fighter, not great, decent fighter. You know what I'm saying? We've seen him down before, you know what I'm saying? And the second fight, he was hitting Ronald with the kitchen sink and didn't even get a, a, a knockout or a stoppage. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, so like I said, like the way they managing David is making him look like he's a monster. But do, do I think he's a monster? No. You know, um, do I think he's a good fighter? Yes, I think he's a good fighter. But I want to see him in there with. Uh, I, 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 it's time to get down to the get down now. I want to see if he really can get down. David Benavides, you know him well too. He's fighting um, Caleb Plant March 25th, I believe. Yes. What do you think? Uh, What's going to happen? A good fight. People want to see that, that kind of fight. And I think Benavides can you, stop him. Yeah, how does he win? How does Benavides win? I think he'll stop him by like seven, seven rounds. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, last I, I, like, I, like, I like Benavides. Let me tell you. I love this fight. This fight is one of the best fights that boxers can make. Killer plans the bees. Benavides the bees. Um, I'm leaning towards Caleb, bro. <laughs> no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Never mind. Take it back. I'm leaning towards the. I'm sorry. That's the kind of fight it is. It's like up and down. Like I keep on You feel me? Like so. The last time I sparred Caleb, Caleb dropped me with a with a, um with a right hand. That shit was hard as hell. Like he didn't drop me right. But I just got out of jail. I wasn't training that much, so like I wasn't myself. So I can't get from that, you feel me, that fully because I wasn't me 100%. That being said, me and David went to war. Me and David have like round, like over 100 rounds of sparring. Like we trained, we trained together for like two camps. So that boy's a beast, bro. He keeps coming. He a dog. I just don't like his his energy right now because he's really he really don't fuck with him. So he's really mad. I feel like that energy is gonna affect his style because typically. He's not really like that. He just be chilling. When he beats, he, he a dog naturally. I've never seen him fight mad. So, like, I don't know if that's going to affect him. Like, I feel like Caleb's kind of in his head. I see him posting little taunts and stuff. So, like, that could affect his performance. People don't understand that. Like, you're your best when you're most relaxed. And that tension, that arm, it slows you down. You feel me? So, that's what's going on here. You feel me? You're right. So you, you think that, you know, right now, because, you know, I talked to David just a little bit, and he said that, you know, of course I'm going to be emotional. You know what I'm saying? This is the biggest fight of my life. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you and both, you know, you and I both know that, you know, it can go either way. You know, you can live of it, or, like you said, you can get tight and you can get really emotional. Caleb Plant happens to be a real smart boxer. Yeah, it is, so and he it's could, advantage you know, that Caleb has, too. Like you David said to you, this is the biggest fight of his life. It's not the biggest fight of Caleb's life. You feel me? Caleb did this already. You feel me? Like so, all the nerves, all that, all that at the highest level, he's done that. And I mean, he didn't win, but he he survived. You know what I mean? He he got through that and he got better because Caleb is way better since the Canelo fight, in my opinion. So that's something that everybody got taken into consideration too. The moment, 
David hasn't lived this moment yet. Granted, he has big fights, but not big like this. And Caleb has. You know what I'm saying? So what do you think, man? What does Caleb have to do to win this fight? And what does Benavidez um, have to do to win Caleb's this Caleb has got to use his legs a lot more. You feel me? Like move you can't stand in front of David. You can't stand in front of David. You can't try to look to exchange. You got to box in and out, in and out. Take angles, turn them constantly. So if David can't get set, if you let David sit down and throw his shit, like, I don't think anybody's really going to be able to take that kind of pressure. Because David don't punch that hard, but it's his pressure and speed that throws you. Feel me? Like, and uh, his, his ability to take your punch. He takes he can take your punch. And his power and size wears you down over time. So Caleb got to be in great shape, which he will be, of course. And then constant legs. And then for, um, for David, David, like, I feel like their, their game plan is to box more. I don't really think that you should, because I feel like you're not going to outbox him. I feel like you got to just do you 100%, which Benavidez Sr. is super smart. So I feel like they, they're they going to game plan right away. So it's going to be a dope-ass fight, man, like for real, for real. Like, I'm really excited about this fight. Right, right, right. It really right. is, bro. Like, 50, and there's a, 50, there's a lot of them in talks, a lot of 50-50 fights in talk. But this is the first one we've seen get done. You know what I'm saying? Like, just tank and rolling shit. They take it forever to do that. You feel me? This Errol Spence and Crawford. They take it forever to do that. So, like, we're not getting no 50 50 fights. So, this is like the first one that we've come of uh, this year that we've gotten that, like, this one's going to be good. It's, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> and it's in Vegas. It's in Vegas. It's you in know your backyard, I mean? yeah. too, right? I might go shirtless. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That means. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, like, I mean, let's look at the, the pros and cons for both of them. I mean, I agree 100% on what you say. And what, who am I to really disagree? You've been in the ring with both of them, right? But um, in the same time, we've seen the fight with Rashidi Ellis and uh, Ramon Vila, okay? Rashidi Ellis, I believe, won that fight. But in the same time, he made it too hard, right? He moved too much, you know, to, to be able to. And if Caleb does that, that just does too much movement with the legs, he could get tired at the end of those rounds. So what would you have to say? Like, if if it goes later, it's more in favor for David? Um, see, I don't if know he gets tired, because tired because at the end? Because David about Rashidi, could probably yeah, be I, think, at the yeah. end. I think Rashidi, actually, let's not even go into this. Rashidi, shout, shout out to Rashidi. Get back, my boy. Yeah, get back, yeah, my he, boy. Like, one my guy. Fight, get that rematch. Um, as far as David... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I think I don't that remember, like, either I didn't, way. I didn't score it while I was watching it to remember if I really think he won or not. But I did think he was edging it. But it it was one of those. It was it was close. It was close. It's a buzzer. It, 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 it really was. Boxing, it really was. It really was. But Rashidi like. is a problem. Like so, he gonna come back. And then as far as Caleb, Caleb is Absolutely. a very, very, very smart fighter, and he has a smart corner with Bradman and all that. So, I think as the fight goes on. Right. Caleb is going to get better. Not saying Benavides isn't, because Benavides is a very smart fighter as well. He's just not known for his brain. Like, he's not known for that. He's known for the being the bully that's going to beat you up. Whereas Caleb is known as the technician, the smarter fighter. Like he's, but we got we really got two smart fighters getting in the ring. So I don't think I don't think it's going to get a knockout if we're going to a decision, personally. I think we're gonna. It's gonna be a clear winner. I feel like it's gonna be. It's not gonna be one of those fights. I think it's gonna be a very clear winner. You know what I'm saying like. So keep it a hundred. And who you got? David. I got David. I got David. I got David. Hey. What do you feel about the fight with uh, Benavidez and Hito Plan? Um, I edge I, for that fight. Edge probably uh, the, uh, uh, David Benavidez winning. You know, just because how, how he fights. You know, he's he's a beast. You know, what I'm saying I know he's gonna walk forward, hands up tight. That his punch is going. He's going to try to go in there and stop and try to knock uh, Caleb Plant out. But Caleb Plant is also a sharp, smart fighter. So it's going to be an interesting fight, too. But uh, I, I think Dave, Dave is going to win. Do you have a winner for that fight? Like, does David win or Caleb Plant win? Or how, how do you think that fight goes between those two? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, Ben, 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 ben Amir is fast. Caleb Plant, same. Uh, ben Amir is, uh, sorry, uh, Plant is so fucking technique. You know what I mean? Ben Amir is fucking strong, but he's. he's, he's the predictable the fight is it, 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 so crazy, man. You know what I mean? But it, uh, it's a it's an amazing fight, yeah. you know. But, but for me, hey man, 50 50. No, for what? Yeah, 50 50, man. But hey, Caleb Plant is fat, 
uh, get the power, like the, the last fight on the road, get, get the power, uh, get the technique, everything, you know? So, yeah, I'm better the same. Got the power, got the, um, it's fast, sorry, fast. So, everything, no bad. Hey, hey, yeah. My vaso. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> fight. 50 50 minutes. Yeah. He, he's so fucking good fight. I think it's a big fight. I think it's one of those fights where, like, depending on how how you feeling that night of the fight is depending on, like, like what can happen. Like, a lot of different things happen, like the night of the fight or the day before the fight. That can affect your performance. I think if they do the right thing, both, like, together, I think that. I think it'll be an awesome fight, but depending on who does it, depending on it's going it's going to win the fight. I don't want to get too like crazy with like strategy and all that because you know I'm pulling for Caleb Plant to win the fight. Yep. Just because you know he needs to stay with me in mind now. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. But you've been in there with David Benavides, so tell me how it was to be able to share the ring with him. What does he do good, and what do you um, think Caleb he has a great can energy. Do so you know we're gonna come on like um good time and hand speed. Um, I think Caleb's gonna have to like counter that with with being really ring savvy, you know, controlling the distance. Uh if he can do that and keep Benavides kinda like on the back foot a little bit, I think he'll be all right. But he just can't get he can't let him get ahead of steam. And that's what David does about well, he gets ahead of steam and you know in my fight I only had two weeks to train so you know, as I was doing well in the fight, I couldn't maintain it because, you know, I, I didn't have to, I didn't, wasn't able to train as long as I could to be able to endure that, that pace. Right, Sixteen you had days. Like, what, like two weeks? Yeah. Sixteen days. Yeah. So, I mean, you think if you had more, more time to prepare, you think, I think the fight like would have been a lot different. different outcome? I think the, um, I mean, it was a good fight. Everybody loved the fight, but... I think it would have even been a I, I better it. fight. I would have been able to push him. I think I would have won the fight, I think, on that night. I felt good mentally going inside of it, even without training. Like, I'm a mentally strong person. I, I fight anybody. You know, that's how I am. But uh, I'm in hindsight, now Heard thinking it about it, it's like if I, if, if I would have had more time for the fight, I, I think I would have won the fight just be off of the fair, mere fact he didn't know much about me. You know what I mean? And it was some things I was able to do. It was some things I was able to do to him that that I, I think that kind of messed him up, like his rhythm. I was able to do some things with the rhythm and you know punching in certain kind of rhythms that kind of threw his timing off. So um, and then I, I was willing to fight, and that's something some that's that's Caleb's going to be able to do. He's got to be he has he's got to be able to and willing to fight. You know, when it get when it goes there, right, 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 right. right. So I mean, yeah, I'll be there. are you going to go to the fight? Okay, okay, okay. So you know how it is with the draft, the DraftKings. You could you know place that bet right away, round by round. So like, tell me like, what are the things that you want to see from Caleb that's going to be like, all right, I'm gonna put the bag on this round or or, or um, whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't like betting on boxing. To be honest, I don't. Uh, any boxing one of those fights, but any given night somebody can do something. I don't like betting on boxing. I like I, I do all my betting on like basketball and like football things like that. But I don't I don't really like betting on boxing. But um, for those who bet on boxing, I mean, I, if you start seeing um, David Benavidez affected by the punches that he's getting hit with, and um, you see David take start taking back steps start trying to change his game plan almost mid mid fight then yeah i think you kind of you kind of get it you kind of can see it different because that's, that's going to be a big difference if Caleb can hit and hurt david at any point in the fight it's going to change david's mindset when he's coming in he's not going to come in as hard he's not going to come in with as many punches he's going to be safety first and then the face start working and then the, then the, then the, then, the, then the jab is then the jab you know, he can throw the hook off a jab and throw the right hand off a jab. He can, he, he'd just be more effective off of certain punches if he can hurt him. You know, so, um, and, I, and I've been in the ring with Caleb. He has good punching power, so. Right. 
I'll speak it upon that too. It's like you've been in there with David. You know, I've seen David's performance with Darrell, and I've seen your performance with with David. In my opinion, it, it looked like you know David was definitely respecting your punching power. You know what I'm saying? Over the time, it looked like you was a little bit gassed. But what do you think? You think that this might be uh, David's, you know, hardest task today? Because he did say it would. But what about the punching Dude. power? Are you are you comparing Caleb to uh, Darrell? Oh, well, I don't... Right. In that fight with Darrell, it was a weird fight because it was like Darrell was fighting back, but he was fighting back because he had to. You know, it, it wasn't like... It was a lot, of, a lot of his punches that he was throwing was kind of on the back foot. But he had some success. But, but he had some success. With a fighter like that, success. success really doesn't mean anything because he's not really worried about winning rounds. He's trying to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you can have success on guys. Like, people say that about... um. About Tank, they say like he gets hit. Well, I'm trying to get you out of there. Like I'm going, I'm going to get hit. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how offensively you are, it depends on like if you're going to get hit. So, I think that that's something that 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 you have to take in mind. He's an offensive fighter. He's going to come forward. He's going to absorb punches. He's trying to get inside. He's going to get hit. Caleb is going to be able to touch him. He's going to get hit with punches. Now, how he feels after he gets hit with punches, you know, is another thing. It's different styles of punches, too. And I'm going to point that out. I don't, I don't know how many people have been hit with a punch in there. But it's different styles of getting hit with a punch. There's certain guys who got flashy punches, and you don't see them. There's guys that got real thud and hard hands, and every punch hurts. I don't mean they're KO punches, but the punches hurt. And they, like, they wear you down. Then you got guys that hit you when, you're not, when you don't even know what's coming. And then those are those the shots that knock you out, you know. And um, Caleb has that um, explosiveness to be able to hit you when you're not paying attention or when you think that you're not getting hit. Um, and I think with Bradman, he's able to he, – he has he's starting to gain confidence in his offense to be able to sit down a little bit longer on the punches. I think he already had power, but I think what Brad was doing with him is, is giving, him, giving him a little bit more – Stay in there, kind of, kind of mentality of not nah, let that shot, let that shot count. You know, let's not just tap it. You know, and I think that uh, it, it's worked out for the Darrell fight. And if he's able to do that with Benavides, then I'll be incredible. Okay, okay. So, what would you have to say when it comes to special, right? For both fighters, what do they do special each of them? You know what I'm saying? Because you know. You just started, you know, you've been in the ring with Caleb so many times sparring. You've been in the ring with, with David. What are the, those special moments that they really have that caught you by surprise? Like, like, I didn't really see that by the look of it, but being in there, you yeah. actually was like, all right, this is what, this is what special. I don't want to sound like... Benavidez was as good as I thought he was. Um... Okay. I thought it was going to be hard, a little bit harder to hit him. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit harder to turn him. Um, and I thought he punched harder. So, so okay. he, he, nothing that he really did to me surprised me. Now, he was able to win a fight against me due to the circumstances of me not having been able to train properly. And he's a skillful fighter. That's not, that's not right. that out there. Yeah, and, and you're moving up in weight as well. We got beat weight class, but I don't want to make all a bunch of excuses. Um, he he was able to. He's a skillful fighter. I'm not saying that he's not skillful. He's, he's, a, he's a really really good fighter. It just certain things I didn't realize it was so easy to do to him. Um, with Caleb, it was some things I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> but you know, respectfully, I'm not going to tell you. But um, there's some things that you know I've seen. But he has. Yeah, he, he surprised me with his, with his punching power. I didn't think he punched as hard as he did. And um, I remember at sparring and, you know, we traded hooks a couple times. Same shot he hit the road with, he hit me with um, while we were sparring. That's a good shot. You know I mean? You can tell when it's a good shot. I've been hit a bunch of times. You can tell when it's a good That's a good shot. Even with the headgear on the 16 ounce glove, that's a good shot. A couple times he hit you on the arm, you can feel like the, the, the power. That's power. You got you to gotta keep your eyes open when you're punching. So he surprised me with um, his, his his ability to, to punch. Right, right. Now, you know, 
when when we talk about chin insurance, right? What would you think about Caleb's chin insurance? Because he's only gotten tested by Canelo. You know, what what would you I mean, have to say about his chin? I, I want to say he's only been tested by Canelo. I, I mean, everybody can punch. Everybody's human. You've been all in there sparring with guys in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he got the gear as well. I want to say it's Can Canelo was able to do something skillfully to get. He didn't knock Caleb out with one punch. Yeah, you know, he, people acting like he went in there yeah. and just hit Caleb and knocked Big. him out, and he got in the chin like on some, on some, you know. Right. Yeah, he he, he broke him down. Some things and um, that break him down and and get and score the knockout. He scored a knockout. It was no one punch boom me out. Where's your chin at? It was accumulation of punches that. Um, that was able to stop Caleb. So, I mean, his his chin hugged up with Canelo Alvarez for eleven rounds, and and I, and I don't think it was it was it was more the pressure than it was the one punch knockout. So I I don't know I don't know I can't tell you how he feels when he gets hit because I'm not in his body, and I'm not I don't know how great he is at hiding being hurt. And that's just as important. You know what I mean? You can have a, you can have a bad chin and still be successful in this game. You know, you've seen guys all do it all the time. You stay away from punches. You know what I'm saying? Something. You never know. You never, we don't really know how um, good K um, Karen Crawford chin is. They don't get hit that much. When he gets hit, sometimes it look a little funny, but he's always able to dominate. You know what I'm saying? We dominate on a certain level. I mean, you, you can have chin problems when you, you know what I mean? You, it can make up. I mean, it's about what you do. Does Devin Haney have chin problems? We don't know. He don't get hit like that. You know? Okay, okay. Now you know, you know, <clears throat> you know Caleb and in a personal level, but in the same time, you've gotten to share the ring, but also the press conferences with David. You know what I'm saying? We've also seen press conferences with Caleb Platt, with Canelo, you know, trying to smack him and all that other extra shit, right? And then we also got to see his attitude towards Darrell, knowing Caleb, and also knowing the way David acts. What did you see in, in the press conference that's like, wait a minute, is, is Caleb getting under his skin? Or do we see a little bit of a you know, mind game coming from Caleb? I think, like, what are we talking, we about to fight. So what do we, what do we talk about fighting? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, I think all that, all that is whack. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I'm, if you're trying to start a fight, it's one thing. But if it's actually, like, a serious beef, that's corny. Because I don't know you like that. You don't know me like that. The only thing we know about is that we in the same work. We just going to work. We just going to work. You know what I mean? Literally waking up and going to work, you know? But, but this, this has been marinating, brother. It's different. They, they, people are talking about yeah, this really, actually being bad blood. Do you think it's bad what, blood? What, what, what is business? it? Some money? It ain't about money. It ain't, it ain't about no woman. Because we, we, we didn't fight on time? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't, we didn't mm -hmm. fight when you wanted to fight? Yeah. It ain't really no bad blood. I think that... Um, it's, it's a little bit of selling a fight, and it's a little bit of you know, ner maybe a little bit of nervousness. Um, but I, I don't. I mean, at least I don't understand it because I'm not like that. If it's real beef, it gotta be real beef. I can't. I can't. I don't, I, I don't do all the boxing beef. I don't do boxing beef. Like, right, right, right. So, do you think when it comes down to the 168th division, we're talking about the best defensive fighter versus the best offense fighter? I don't want to go that far. Maybe. No, because I don't know if you've seen that clip back in the day when they were a little bit younger, probably like four or five years ago. They mentioned that. I think in I mean, Taylor I think it sells the fight. I mean, there's a lot of good fighters that we don't even know about that haven't got the sign yet, you know, haven't got to be able to, to be even. But, you know, commercially, this is a great fight for the one that's 168. I highly taught it about a fight that um, is going to gain a lot of exposure for the sport. And I'll be there, so it's going to be lit. But... I don't know if it's actually the best. I've been in the. I've seen some good, great offensive fighters that fight around, that I've been around. That I'm not gonna just give tip it to him. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I'm not gonna just say that Caleb Plant's the best defensive fighter when I know there's a bunch of good. But they're both great fighters, so this will be should be a good fight. But I don't want to disrespect, you know, the guys coming up. But I think we. I think we. This is the probably the best fight at 168. Period. Even minus Canelo. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I don't even think that the fight between ben, Dave Benavides and Canelo is gonna be as good as this fight. If they ever fight. I don't think it's gonna be as good as this fight. I think the, the dynamics of this fight and the and the and the styles of this fight 
it's gonna give you some Bye. Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard. Mm, 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 mm. A lot of punches. That's being a lot thrown. of punches being thrown right there. A lot there. of heart being put out there, shown. I think it's gonna. It's, I think the fight is gonna come. It's gonna. It's, we want. We want to see who's willing to go there. Sometimes the bullies. Sometimes the bullies that, not willing to um, go there every time. You know. You know. You can sometimes you got you got to wake up right. every single day and be that guy. Like when you're a certain kind of fighter, you got to wake up every single day and be that guy. Some days you wake up and you're not that guy. You know, you got willing to go through much. I got mm. you got kids now. Mm. You got family. You're not willing to go to the places that you know that you used to be able to go to, you know. Right, right, right. Now you've been in main events fights, you know, a couple times now. And at the same time, uh, when we talk about, you know, being at that spotlight, you know, with you know, the fans being just a big, big, big crowd. Caleb's been there. You know, Benavides, he's had crowds, but not necessarily at that stage. Do you think that plays nah, a part of this I don't think fight? so. Well, me and David Benavides, for it was 30,000 people in that Phoenix arena. It was packed in there. The room was shaking. It was shaking yeah. in there. They showed him love. It, 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 was, it was, it was, the energy was, it was ridiculous. I don't, it, it, I don't think that that's going to face him. I think once you get to that point, what's the difference between 30,000 people or 50,000 people, you can't tell. You know, now I don't even know if MGM yeah. holds that many. So I think the atmosphere for us is going to feel like holding breath because it's like we've been waiting for it. I think for, for the fighter, you're going to be locked in and, and it's the crowd. A crowd is a crowd. But then and in the same time, you got like that, those moments of all the celebrities going into the locker room, shaking your hand. And that's I think at this too. point, everybody's used to that. You know what I'm saying? At this point. You know what I mean? That's the first time. I think okay. everybody's used to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody knows who David is in the boxing game. Everybody knows who Caleb is in the boxing game. I think I think they're I think I think this is past that stage. I don't think it's I don't think that this this that's that's this fight. I think that might have been David a little earlier or Caleb a little earlier, but I don't think this fight. I think this fight we got two guys that are established in their prime and are ready for the moment. Do you think Caleb Plan is a better fighter? After fighting um, uh, Canelo, yeah, Alvarez. I think anytime you go through experiences like that, you better. Got to get better. Got to be better. Got to be better. Right. You know. What you think about? Um, you know, when you talk about these mega fights, right? We never got to get Terence Crawford versus Spence. Is this is this, this a bigger, bigger fight, fight than what? Or Terence Crawford? No. Then Terence Crawford and Spence. No, but for us fans, it's the no. same. Is this a bigger fight than Tank Davis versus Ryan? But this is like every boxing fan's favorite fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what this is. Right. I think that it's going to draw some out top people that don't watch boxing as well. But it's not as big. Come on, like, Ryan Garcia is a freaking Instagram celebrity. And... What? So is it bigger than that fight? No, nah, it's is not. Is it bigger. bigger than Ryan? I think it means more to no? the boxing sport, though. To the but I don't think that is a bigger right. fight. Just because you're gonna have you you gonna mess around and have Kylie Jenner at that Ryan Garcia fight, like you <laughs> Beyonce gonna be in. Uh, it's gonna be in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's one of those fights. And, and they bring a the kind of guy mm -hmm. like kind of, I remember the, the Javante Roley fight, and Madonna was there. Like you know, like. It's that, it's that kind of, it's that kind of, yeah, bring them kind of stars out. But I think this Caleb Plant, I mean, we're going to have, you know, a lot of celebrities in the building. I'm pretty sure you see, like, Eddie Murphy. He's a big boxing fan or Denzel. Or some guys have Jamie Foxx be going to the fight sometimes. But I don't think that you're going to get, like, I don't think it's as big as those fights. And it's going to, I'm not sure that was, it probably will sell great, though, because all, everybody, every boxing fan is going to buy this fight. It's not even a, I'm going to, I'm not missing this fight. If I got to buy it, I will. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not missing it. That's not an option. And if they can get all the, and, it, right. and if they can, and if they can knock down all the, uh, the fire, all the firewalls, all the people still in the fight, then they'll get this, the numbers do better. So the better they do with that, the better the numbers look. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So I, I've interviewed a few people that know David Benavidez and they say he's a, you know, he's a cool dude, but this is not like him. You know what I'm saying? This is, 
It's just the demeanor. I think maybe, I like I think, it. I think, I what do you think about Caleb in the way? I think he's trying to get to Caleb. I think he's pushing it up. I think he's keeping it. This is, I think this is part of his fight. So he's trying to get to him. I think this right here is going to be hmm. part of his fight. Do you, do you think that, you know, with Breadman or with Jose Benavides, who got a better corner? Yes. Yeah. And that's going to take, is that going to take a big part of this fight? Like, is it going to I mean, I think, I make think, a big difference? I don't think that, I don't really respect the fact that his coach is getting into the arguing and the chastising of another fighter. I don't think that's okay. Um, I know that's his dad and he gets emotional, but I don't think that's okay. Mm. You know, but I don't get into all that. But I, 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 I honestly, I right. think as a trainer, I want right. my trainer a little bit more level-headed so that he can see. Sometimes you're too angry, you can't see. And I want my trainer to be able to see. Mm. So um, the way Brett is, he doesn't get too. He's me and Brett are pretty, pretty similar when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's like we're fighting. You know what I'm saying? We're about to get in the ring and fight. Let's do it on a fight night. We want to talk a little trash, we do a little bit of that. But when it's getting a little personal, it's like, what are we doing this for? Because this ain't about that. Cause if it was about that, it wouldn't. We wouldn't be here. You know. So I think that it's important right. that to have a coach that is um, emotionally stable in the corner. Be able to give you instructions clear and be truthful with you the whole fight. Right, right, right. And um, I don't know. Did I did I mention if this uh, fight no, goes twelve rounds? No, I don't. I don't have a prediction though. I don't. I don't have. I don't, I'm going to no. enjoy the fight. I'm not going to put. Sometimes you get predictions. It starts. I don't want to go in the fight for myself. I'm gonna show up um, March 25th. Crazy fly. Um, you know what I'm saying? Get. Yeah, she, you know what I'm saying? Cutting it down. I'll show up as like, a music video. And, you know, I'm going to come and support my guy, Caleb. And, you know, and, uh, and uh, hopefully we get this win.